everyone, I'm Alex Forshew. We just finished up our team site visit here at Roberts Bay Road on Lake Joseph. Come with me on a quick tour, and we'll show you around. Let's go over a few property site statistics before we go on the tour. This property is on Lake Joseph. It's 2.1 acres, is a through lot, so it's the last property before the peninsula property. And it actually has two water frontages. One on the south side, it's 220 feet of frontage. One on the north side, it's 201 feet of frontage. When we first met these clients and when we first walked on the property, there was three buildings already pre-existing. There was an old barn built in the late 1800s that was actually from St. Jacobs, Ontario and moved up to Lake Joseph on an ICF foundation. And we also had a story and a half boathouse. We also had a story and a half guest cottage, all grandfathered, all very close to the shore. So for our clients, we're designing a two-story boathouse, a two-story guest cottage, a two-story garage with an accompanying sport court, and we're also doing an amazing job at restoring the barn and adding onto it with a very contemporary structure. We're also going through some planning variances that will involve some extra lock coverage, maybe an extra dock, and a boathouse in the future. Right now, we're actually standing on the dock of the new boathouse. This project has already been built, and it was built by Mazenga. So this dock is around 2,000 square feet. The lower boathouse, which has two slips, is around 1,200 square feet. And then we have upper storage space with a massive outdoor patio deck that's 650 square feet. So when we move up to the guest cottage, we have a base footprint of about 800 square feet. We move up to the upper floor, and that is also another 800 square feet. So now we're still on the boathouse, but we're on the upper level. You'll see that it's a massive upper deck space, but on this particular project, we actually have patio porcelain slabs instead of decking. And so the underlayment of this entire deck is still two-ply modified bitumen torch down material with roof drains that drain down into the lake naturally. But there's standoffs and foam so that each of the porcelain tiles can be propped up, leveled, and it's a beautiful surface. And so you'll also notice on this boathouse that there's a lot of aluminum composite panel. We like using aluminum composite panel just because there's no oil canning. It's very rigid, it's easy to work with, and it just looks slick. As you can see from this material transition, the heat-treated pine dies perfectly behind the aluminum composite metal panel. So now we're standing up at the guest cottage. You can see that we are at the front facade of where you would pull in park, get out of your vehicle, and be welcomed by the front facade of the cottage. When the old cottage was here, it was actually a side-loaded entrance. You can see that there's a driveway over on the other side, and you were coming at the cottage from the side. We actually wanted to divert that access, and we wanted to bring it in the front, so when you walk through the front door, you're seeing the lake, and you're seeing the beautiful view. So in order to do that and have great access, we actually decided to blast this rock face. And so when you look at the front door from when you enter, you will see this really nice natural rock face and it will be all planted and nice cobblestones coming up and give your visitors an amazing entrance. So let's move into the guest cottage a little bit and we're gonna show you around just uh, some of the features and how it's laid out. So this will be front entrance. So you'll be able to see the bay of Lake Joseph. This depressed section here is actually going to be an integrated sofa. So and one of the reasons why we did that is because when you're walking into the front door, you don't wanna see furniture, you wanna see the view. Sinking the furniture down, obtain that view. my left there will be more social space and seating and then this whole front facade is actually going to be curtain wall and then you walk out onto a deck here that overlooks your two-story boathouse has a view of the lake and it's going to be absolutely stunning at the end of the day 
So here we're at the site for where the two-story garage is gonna be. So it's actually gonna be built into this hill and the back of the garage is going to be all ICF foundation so that we can backfill against it and we can place a sport court surface on top. And that sport court surface will be a half basketball court. It'll be a pickleball court. So you'll be able to come into the driveway and you will be able to park your car in on this level. You'll have access to the guest cottage. The reason why we place the garage in this location is because it's in the middle of the property. So you'll be able to park in the middle of the property. You'll be able to access both ends. So this project has not been designed yet, but it is on our boards. So follow along and you'll be seeing that concept in later videos. Now we're over on the north side of the property where the 201 feet of frontage lives. And this behind me is the barn from the late 1800s. And so we will be preserving this structure. We'll be reskinning it with new materials, but we will be preserving it and we'll be adding to the left. This project is fully designed and right now it's in our construction documentation queue. We're gonna put a link in the description below so that you guys can watch the concept reveal. concludes this team site visit and this project overview. Follow along, there'll be more videos and we'll see you next time.